Hello everyone. This video is about how to design a distillation column using shortcut calculations. In this example, we want to design a distillation column that separates a mixture of hydrocarbons. The specifications are that 90% of C5 should be recovered in the distillate product and that 97 of C6 should be recovered in the bottom product. The feed stream is a saturated liquid at 298 Kelvin and the column operates at atmo atmospheric pressure. The first step is to estimate the relative volatility of the components in the mixture. The relative volatility is defined as the ratio between the equilibrium constant K of a product I and the equilibrium constant of the heavy key component. The equilibrium constant is defined as the ratio between the partial pressure of the component I and the total pressure. To estimate the partial pressure of any strain chain hydrocarbon of length n, the following correlation can be used. To estimate the pressure of the mixture, first we need to find the bubble point because the feed stream is a saturated liquid. The procedure to estimate the bubble point pressure of a mixture is first assume a pressure and estimate the K values of the hydrocarbon mixture. Then we need to make sure that the sum of the products between the K values and the fit composition is equal to 1. You can do this iteration manually or else you can use uh, any solver, for example the Excel solver. In this case the pressure that satisfied that condition was 146.12 kilopascal. Once the K values have been determined we can proceed to estimate the relative volatilities by dividing the k-value of the component and the k-value of the heavy key. In this case, the k-value of C6. The next step is to estimate the minimum number of stages using Fensky equation. In this case, the minimum number of stages are 6.46. With the geddes hetebeck equation, we can determine the composition of the distillate and the bottom product. First, the parameter A is determined with the heavy key composition in the distillate product, the light key composition in the bottom product, the relative volatility of the component, and the minimum number of stages. Then, the ratio between the top and bottom compositions is determined with the geddes hestebeck equation. Then, from a mass balance, the top and bottom compositions can be found using that ratio. Using the Underwood equations, we can determine the reflex ratio. This is also an iterative process, so again a suggestion is to use a solver like Excel. From the equation of the left, we know everything but the parameter theta. Remember that the value of Q for a saturated liquid is 1, so we want to iterate the first equation until we get 0. Now, with the second Underwood equation, we can determine the minimum reflex ratio. To determine the operating reflex ratio, a heuristic rule says that this value should be 1.2 times the minimum reflex ratio. Now, we can proceed to estimate the number of theoretical stages using the Rogers equation from Gilliland graphical method, also known as Molokanov equation. This calculation is very straightforward, as all the parameters are known. And finally, using Kirchberg correlation, the fit rate location can be found. As you can see, this is also a very straightforward calculation, since all the parameters are known. In summary, the steps to design a distillation column using shortcut calculations are as follows. Step 1. Estimate the relative volatilities by determining the bubble point or the dew point. Second, estimate the minimum number of stages using Feng's equation. Third, estimate the distillation and bottom composition using geddes hestebeck equation. Fourth, Estimate the minimum reflex ratio using Undergood equations. 5. Find the number of theoretical stages using the molokanov gilliland equation. And 6. Estimate the fit trade location using the Kirby correlation. 
I hope you can find this video useful. Thank you for watching.